Here is class to-do list. The class initializer creates a list with to-dos and the class has a method to add to-dos. I create an instance and add three to-dos. I iterate the to-dos and print them. And that works. But this code has a problem. The user of this class should not have access to the internal to-dos list. In fact, the user should not know any class implementation details. And in this video, you learn how to make the to-do list iterable the Pythonic way. The first thing I do is make the to-do list private. Now you know that by adding the underscore, the to-dos list is still public and I can prove this by running the code. Although I was able to access the privately marked attribute, now it is clear I'm doing something that I'm not supposed to do. What I want is the following. I want to iterate the to-dos list instance directly. But what happens if I do? I get an error. The class is not iterable. To make it iterable, I implement dunder iter. Dunder iter should return an iterator. Since I already have an iterable object, I create an iterator from it using the built-in iter function. I try again. And that works. The class is now iterable and users of the class can make an educated guess on how to use it. But there's one thing they cannot do at this moment. What if they want to access an element at a certain index? Boom! Another arrow! The object is not subscriptable. Let me make it subscriptable. An element at a certain index is requested and Python searches in the object for dunder get item. Here, an element from the internal to-dos list will be returned. And that works. Now the to-do list class is an iterable and subscriptable object. And it hides all the implementation details of the internal list. The user of the class does not have to know the implementation details anymore and can make educated guesses on how to work with the to-do list. But of course, nothing is stopping users from accessing the internal to-dos list because Python does not have the concept of private attributes. And if you want to know why that is, click on this video right now and we'll see each other in the next video. There you learn that in Python, really everything is public.